Today's the first Saturday in April, and it was kind of like cloudy and gloomy this morning, but I just really wanted to go yard selling, so I had my fingers crossed that somebody would be having one, and I looked on Facebook, and they were. Um, I did save the best for last. I feel like it always ends up being that way, that the last yard sale you go to ends up being your best one. Um, but the first one was actually pretty good, too. So, first off, uh, I saw these in the actual like yard sale listing, and I saw that the yard sale started on Friday, so I was like, Ugh, there's no way that they still have good stuff. Um, but I went anyways because it was only 10 minutes from my house and I got lucky. So I got these Uggs. These are a size 14 in men's. And I got these for $5. And then I got these Timberlands, which are also a size 14 in men's, for $5. Um, these are missing the lace on this shoe. So I probably won't get as high of a price for it. I know I could get a shoe lace off Amazon, but it's just not really worth it to me. So I listed them without the laces. I got one more pair of shoes at that yard sale. It's these Doc Martens, and these are called The Church. I looked, and the black version of this went on Poshmark for $300. So I listed these for $200. They're a size 14 as well. Um, I'm curious to see how well these sell because they are a size 14, because I feel like maybe if they were a like smaller size, they might do better, but we'll see how they do. And the other thing I got at this yard sale was a little princess pair of shoes because my daughter was with me and she was like, Mom, I want these. So we got them. So I will insert a clip so you guys can see her clicking around the house in her princess shoes, which she actually gave those to me for free. So I just wanted to mention real quick that I do have a link in my description for you guys for Flip, which is the um, free cross-listing and closet share. Um, so it's basically just like Vindu or List Perfectly, except it's completely free and it will always be free. Um, so yeah, I've been using it and I really like it. So I'll have the link in the description. However, um, it does put you on a wait list. So it put me on the wait list for about a week and then it gave me access. So just know you probably won't get access right away. So you'll want to go ahead. If you are thinking about it, I would consider just go ahead and fill out the form. I think all it needs is like your name and your email. But it's awesome and it saves me a lot of money each month. So I love it. Okay, I'll let you guys get back to the video. Bye. So all together, I spent $15 at the first yard sale. And the second yard sale I stopped at was a total bust. Nothing good. So it wasn't in and out. Unfortunately, I had my 18-month-year-old with me. I mean, it's not unfortunate she was with me. It's just my husband was playing basketball, so she had to be there. But, so it's not quick in and out because it's unbuckle and then rebuckle. If you have kids, you understand the whole thing of it. Like, going anywhere is a journey. But the third yard, how many fingers? The third yard sale we went to, I did find some things. Um, nothing, like, super exciting. I spent $7 at the yard sale. So I got these, and she gave them me for $4. They're just, like, a classic pair of Nikes. They were in great condition, so I picked them up. Uh, these are a size, uh oh, oh, there it is. These are a size nine. Uh, I think these are a women's nine, but they're in great condition. And then I got these Nikes and these are a size nine and a half. These are really cool. Um, the bottoms have a little bit more wear on them, but I think I can get it off with just like a magic eraser because the actual tread is fine. Uh, but I got these for um, three dollars so I was like yeah I can get that for that and I honestly think these might sell better than those just because they're kind of more unique I think they're super cool if they're my size I totally keep them and then I went to one more yard sale total bust and then I drove to the one that was a little bit out of the way because I noticed what type of things they had um, and as I was going around I started noticing like anthropology stuff so this one right here is the uh, Soul Los Angeles. And this is by Anthropology. Um, it's a size small, super cute little top. I got it for 75 cents. So their prices were like insanely cheap there. Um, I don't actually know what it says, but I'm sure I could put it in Google and find out. But yeah, I thought this was really cute for 75 cents. I was not gonna leave that behind. And then I went over to the denim section and I saw all this beautiful tag. It just makes me happy every time I see it, mother. These are in great condition and they wanted $2. 
Uh, that is the cheapest I have ever got a pair of mother jeans for. Um, there's like the teeniest bit of puckering right here. It's nothing like crazy. I did disclose that in the listing. These are size 29 and they are the, um, the looker and they are in Grand Stephanie. Ugh, I love mother jeans so much. They just sell so well. I actually have three pairs personally for myself. All three I've thrifted. Um, because if I ever get them in my size, I end up keeping them because I love it. Uh, then I found this super cool cardigan. So it's crocheted. I think it was handmade by someone because I couldn't find tags anywhere in it. But it reminds me of like a blanket that someone just like sewed into a cardigan. So this one is super cool and super unique. So I feel like this one is going to do really well. I've never sold anything like this before, but it just looks so cool. <laughs> then I did get um, books two and three of Twilight. Um, I'll probably be selling these. It was like 50 cents for a paperback and then a dollar for the hardcover. So I just went ahead and picked them up. Oh, this one is super cute. So this is one of the first clothing items I actually found at the art sale. But I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up. Why not? So it was $2 and you got this nasty gal crop top. And they're in this really beautiful, like sand neutral color. I love that color. And then you have the matching pants. So for $2 for the set, there's no way I was going to leave them. They are both a size small. Nasty Gal, this particular set, does run large. So I would say that would fit probably a medium better. Um, I got this mirror. This I'm not selling. This is going to be um, to put in my other car because we have two cars. So then I can see what my daughter's up to. You guys can see my camera set up. You can see the iPad on the little stool in my daughter's bedroom. Yeah. We're just getting started with YouTube. Maybe one day I'll get to look back at this and laugh at where we started out. That would be fun. Um, this would be a good time to mention if you could like and subscribe. It would really help me out a ton. And maybe I can get a better YouTube setup one day. So next we have these cute little Ugg boots. These were $1.50. These aren't like in the best condition ever. But I mean it was $1.50 for Uggs. Um, if nothing else, my daughter will wear them one day. These are a little kid size 8. Um, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to list them or if I'm just going to hold on to them for my daughter. Oh, this one is so cute. Um, I don't know how to say this brand, so I'm not even going to try. That's what it looks like. It is for Target, but the quality of this is just so nice. It's a size small. Um, I just think this is absolutely stunning. This is like my style, totally. I mean, if it was more like a white instead of a navy blue, I guess it would be more my style, but I think this is adorable. I might keep it, I might not. I'll see how comps are. Um, but this was 75 cents. Their prices were just so good. It's been forever since I found like prices that cheap. Um, so this one is J. Crew. This one was $1.50. It's this cute little button up black cardigan. Um, I usually don't pick up J. Crew, but like I said, for that price, I'm gonna pick it up. Um, let me see if this is like wool or anything nice. This is 100% cotton. It's just cute. I mean, maybe it'll sell for 20 bucks. Oh, this one's really pretty. So this is a new to me brand. It is um, knitted and knotted. I feel like this is probably anthropology. It just feels super nice. Let me see. Usually it'll say for anthropology. Yep, for anthropology. You guys didn't know that if you're ever looking at something and think it could be anthropology. Usually, like, either the second or last one will say where it's from. So, yes, this is anthropology. This is in, like, amazing condition. They only wanted a dollar for it. It's a size small. I think it's a dress. It is knitted. Um, so, I think it might be more of, like, a summer, um, like, a swim cover type situation. But it's adorable. And a dollar. I just, I'm so happy. It's been forever since I've been able to go to yard sales since it's been rainy and cold. And I've just been so sick of paying the Goodwill prices. This would have been like $8 at Goodwill, which isn't terrible, but I mean, it's not a dollar. So it's just, it's nice. I love spring for many reasons. Um, and then we have this little cloth and stone, chambray, little top. Um, it's like long line, so it's longer in the back. It's cute. Um, Cloth and Stone is one of those brands that I stopped picking up at Goodwill, but I'll pick it up at a yard sale. For a second, I thought I saw a hole. So it looks like underneath the pleated area, 
there's a little bit of a tear, but you're not going to be able to see that when you're wearing it, but I will disclose that. And then it has the cute little cuffs where you can roll it up so you can choose the sleeve length. So that's cool. But yeah, I think this one will probably sell for around 25 there's a little bag that they gave me says posh on it it's got some fun little silhouettes of people and then I have this vintage Nike um, pullover it's a size large this is really cool this is definitely like 2003-esque I'm almost willing to bet money that that's what year this came out it's got a couple like little mild stains on it. Um, it was 50 cents, so I'm gonna try and watch it and see if they come out. But I don't know, I think this one will probably sell for like $35. And then the last thing I got at this yard sale was a Four Moms or a Mamaroo is what it's also called. It's a baby swing. So this is the swing I got for 20 bucks. As you can see, Lily is trying to go in it. I forgot to mention, but the little croc she's wearing, we also got at that yard sale. I spent a total of $36 at the yard sale, and we got everything that I showed, including the swing. It was insane. And whenever I had Lily, I just borrowed one from my friend. Uh, but they had it plugged into their porch, and it was running. And this was a more um, wealthier area that I was at. So their house was super nice, and they had all like these nice brands. But I got it for $20. She was like, oh, yeah, I just want $20 for it. And it was running because they had it plugged in, so I'm just like... Really? These are $240 new, which I mean, that's not like the most crazy price for like a baby product, but I still feel like that's pretty high. Even on Facebook, I see it for like at least a hundred. Um, so I definitely snagged that up. And the funny thing is, is right after I told him I would buy it, this other lady pulled up to the yard sale and she went straight to the baby swing and she was like, Hey, I want to buy this. How much is it? And they're like, Oh, sorry. Someone already bought it. So I was like, Oh, but I hadn't actually paid them yet because I was still shopping. So I was just very uh, thankful that they kept it for me because I am not selling that. Um, I would have felt bad if I was planning to sell it and she wanted it for her daughter. But no, I'm keeping it for whenever I have baby number two, which is not soon. Well, hopefully it's sometime soon. We're not trying right now, but hopefully soon. Okay. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, if you would please give this video a thumbs up, it would help me out a ton. It just kind of lets YouTube know that, um, my videos or people are watching them and kind of like them. Um, if you could subscribe, it would help me out also. And if you do subscribe, please let me know in the comments so that way I can thank you. And again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.